everybody and welcome to AFB Gaming. If you're new, Skyrim Remastered, finally out. So I'm going to hopefully be putting up a lot of videos for it, or at least some videos that I think would be helpful or beneficial to you guys, or maybe something that's just fun to watch. Um, I'm also going to probably try streaming this stuff, so I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in or not, but if it is, let me know in the comments. If not, then also let me know in the comments. Be like, hey, don't do that shit. Please don't do this shit. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's kill some dragons and hop right into it. Alright, so here we are, the Dragonborn Hero. Um, you could pretty, basically what I'm going to do is show you how to guys, how to make some gold. Pretty early on in the game, I'm like level 10 right now, so you can see I'm not far from Helgen, which is a starting area. Went straight to Whiterun over here, where you can uh, get your first house and whatnot. And then just north of here is where I got the quest for uh, Find Amran's Family Sword at the Halted Stream Camp. So Halted Stream Camp is going to be where you want to go. Um, there's one book in there that you're gonna need and I guess you're also gonna need a pickaxe because you're gonna have to mine some stuff basically you're gonna mine iron ore anytime you find iron ore you automatically have money iron ore is probably the most common thing to find but you know it's it's money you're gonna make it gold this is what you're looking for um, on the outside this is what it looks like if you've never played the game then yeah, just kind of look for halted stream camp showed you where it is on the map this is what it looks like on the outside you're gonna have to deal with some enemies um, I'm gonna cut out the footage because I'm absolutely terrible at this game and the combat is like atrocious but um, yeah just take care of the enemies and then you can hop right in once you're inside again make sure you mine everything and there's a couple of different ways you can do this I'm gonna choose to do like a sneak attack to begin with because uh, again the combat was absolutely terrible but you're gonna want to kill this boss I was level 10 I was actually having kind of a tough time with him um, I also didn't have a lot of health potions or anything but you know whatever so this is the guy and right where he's standing is where you're gonna want to go after you kill him right here so ignore the chest well I mean you're gonna get that after anyway but you're gonna want to get this iron ore and then the silver ore and this is what you came here for. Spell Tome. Transmute Mineral Ore. This spell is going to be your money maker. Like, literally, that's what this is for. So, what it does, it makes Iron Ore into Silver Ore, Silver Ore into Gold Ore, if you're carrying any. However, it will follow, you know, it'll bump up the next thing to the next one. If that makes sense. I <laughs> know that didn't make sense. So, let me show you. If you have iron ore, which I now have a whole crap ton of, and you have silver ore, which I have one of, then when you use transmute ore, it'll change that silver ore into gold. It won't change the iron to silver. It'll just keep it going up. It does cost quite a bit of magic, as you can see, but now you'll have gold ore. So instead of silver, now you have the gold. And then you can repeat it with, you know, as many things of ore as you want. And make sure you keep your gems like the garnet and the amethyst, um, stuff like that. Like, yeah, you could sell it to a merchant just like that, but it's it's a lot more beneficial to actually, you know, make jewelry out of it because you'll you'll just end up getting more out of it. So, again, you can see just how much magic it takes. Kind of a pain, and it might take a while, but hey, guaranteed money. So once you have. Um, all of your ore and whatnot. I was <laughs> I was fat, so I couldn't actually run here. Um, but you're gonna want to take the ore to a smelter. This is the one in White Run, which I think is probably the most basic one that everybody's gonna use. And what you're just gonna do is just make it into ingots. So it's two ore for one ingot. That way you will drop weight, I guess, the, the carrying weight, depending on how much you make of what. And um, as soon as you make the ingot, or yeah, if you want to make gold or silver, depending on what you want to do, then you just go to jewelry. And I would suggest making sure you have some type of jewels to go with the gold so you can get more out of it. So as you can see, the gold ring 75, necklace 120, but if you have you know jewels to go with it, it bumps up the price a lot more and you can get more money out of it. Um, same thing with silver. If you want to make silver jewelry, uh, just make a silver ore, drop that ore, make another silver ore, drop that one, and repeat. Because otherwise you're just going to make it gold and, you know, whatever. And it also levels up your smithing. So 
levels up your speech because you're selling stuff, levels up your smithing because you're smithing stuff, and it makes you money. I think this is pretty good, but if you got a better way to make it um, instead of spending time like this, let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. By the way, don't try fighting giants if you're new, because this is what happens, and if you're an old player, it still happens. Yeah. No bueno.